Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you've come across the channel, welcome, hey, hi, and hello. Nine times out of ten, it's not by coincidence. Spirit probably does have a message here for you. If you're truly actively, like when nobody's watching, working on yourself, on your highest good, really ascending to that which you're supposed to be and or destined to be, nine times out of ten, it's not by coincidence that you came across this channel. If you're returning back to the channel, I say, hey, hi, and hello. Welcome back. You are my soul tribe. You know how much love I have for you. And I thank you for all the love that you show me and this platform. Thank you for your love donations. Thank you for your beautiful emails. Needless to say, I've tried to start this video five times, y'all. Listen, somebody don't want this message to get out. I pulled these cards already trying to start the video. There were so many interruptions. I'm getting somebody wants you to be interrupted. Why though? Because you got something big coming in. Page of Pentacles is good news about some money that you've been waiting for. Some type of payout and somebody wants you to miss an opportunity. Okay. So again, somebody was very, very ballsy, very, very bold. They took a chance. They did it again. They took, a, you know, this weird ass opportunity under the new moon, full moon, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Same stuff every 28 days. Okay. So needless to say, hold on. I got to scratch my head because mm, 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 this got deep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Commercial break. Newcomers, commercial breaks are just something that we have. They've taken on a life of their own and we just respect it because that's just the way that it is. All right. So I'm back. Page of Pentacles, money is coming in. Five of Wands, somebody sent conflict. Somebody wanted you to fight over this holiday. Even if you don't celebrate the holiday, you could have the day off. Maybe you're just thinking about spending time with your family. Somebody wanted you to fight. Somebody wanted you to be uneasy. Somebody wanted you to be irritated. Five of Wands represents somebody doing some type of um, fighting. They wanted chaos in your house. Spirit was like, I don't think so. You're still sitting pretty as the empress. You're still sitting pretty as the chosen. Mayat is spinning the block. The angels are very much aware. And the eight of swords, somebody wanted you in a self-imposed imprisonment. This is what happens when people realize they can't take you out. They want you to use your own energy it's like they paint illusions so that you slowly but surely in this weird little energetic way take your own self out by way of being in this self-imposed imprisonment. It's an illusion, okay? Nevertheless, four of wands. This represents a couple for me, okay? Four, 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 one, 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 five, 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 eight, eight, eight. Very, very significant, okay? The four of wands represents either a twin flame dynamic or high level soulmates. Whatever they did, they wanted to do some type of, um, it's like, a, I just hear tear down your home, break down your house, destroy the foundation of this relationship because you both are awakened and you both are aware of the energy. Whereas before, maybe one of you was more awakened than the other. Now I'm getting that you both are awakened. Okay. Okay. Three of Swords represents breakup. Somebody wanted you guys to fight and break up. I mean, this is very, very clear. There's really no other way to say that. Somebody wanted you in your head. Somebody wanted you to think that the person that you're with is the one that's doing it. No, somebody's projecting it onto the both of you. And because you share the same soul by way of being high level soulmates, you both can feel it when the other one's getting attacked. Okay. So just follow me for just a moment on this story. The synchronicities though, y'all. Three, four, five. Spirit is saying things are in divine order. Things are being balanced out. This Empress energy represents the scales. Because what you're doing with this moon is you're manifesting. Somebody's afraid for you to manifest under this moon. But what they don't realize is that you don't live for the moon cycles the way that they do. This is just destiny, baby. You could take a nap on the full moon. <laughs> Whereas your enemy is up all night praying. I just heard 12 hours ago, somebody sent something to you. 
Somebody could have thrown something at your house, something, I don't know, whatever these people do. Whatever it is, it did not work. Three of Swords is them wanting to break up your house, divide your house. A house that is divided will fall. Those who pray together, stay together. And this is what they don't like. I just heard thicker than thieves. Thicker than thieves. You and your twin are thicker than thieves. You and your twin are tight. And these people don't like it. Now, it was a little bit easier when your twin didn't know, okay? Spirit could have had you awaken your feminine, masculine, or vice versa is the energy that I'm getting. Holy Spirit, I call upon the Archangel Michael by way and permission of the Most High God. Archangel Michael, can you please just loose about... Mm, uh, can you give me about 50,000 more angels to come up against anybody that's sending any evil eye negative energy towards this platform and the platforms of those people who are truly doing the divine work? Also, can you put a shield of protection, very powerful shield of protection around me and my divine soul tribe and the people that truly love them and the people that they truly love, meaning their loved ones? I'm not talking about fake friends. I'm not talking about frenemies. I'm not talking about people who are nasty, okay? That went over somebody's head. I'm trying to tell my age a little bit. Do y'all remember the song Nasty by Michelle? Okay, nobody remembers that. Okay, anyway, Nasty is basically nasty and nasty. It's like, hey, girl, as soon as you turn your back, they lie, okay, like that. Fake and phony, okay. Keep it. Commercial break. Listen, show me what I need to see. Somebody's practitioner is not even answering their call. <laughs> Somebody got abandoned by their practitioner. The practitioner is like, I'm out. I cannot make this up, y'all. The practitioner is not answering the call. Heavy on this scorpionic energy during this full moon. Whatever this is by way of death, okay, the rebirth is going to be bigger and larger than ever. This is why they're all going so hard. Here's the thing. Every demon has been separated one from another. So your enemies are actually going against one another because this is an epic fail once again. Again, remember... These are people that are brainless, spineless. They're cowards. It takes all of them to come for one person, right? It takes about seven neighbors to take down one empress. And the empress is like, oh, you all came for me? All they're doing is validating who you are. That's it. That's it. That's all they're doing. All of you, all of you came for me? Wow. It's, 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 it's weird in a way. It's almost like this secret admiration, right? They hate to love you, but love to hate you. It's a very shape-shifting type of an energy, but it's very disgusting, right? So somebody sent the breakup spell. They wanted you and your divine mate to break up. The death card is here. In the middle of all of that, spirit is thrusting you through another, thrusting you through, okay, well, you're going through it. It's not stopping you. Okay, spirit. But I meant to say thrusting you to another spiritual awakening. As if you couldn't get more gifts. Whatever this page of pentacles is, these people are like hell to the gnaw. They do not want to see y'all win. Epic fail. The hangman is here. Okay. I'm being guided not to focus on the zodiacs. Even though we always know that this is Piscean energy. This just represents a hung situation. Like they need they need to literally hang it up. Somebody don't want this message to get out. I kid you not. I started this five times. The battery went down. Then the cord fell. Then the this fell. All day things were dropping, right? And I was like, ooh, somebody's doing black magic on somebody. 933, just as I said that, right? I was like, somebody's doing some type of black magic, right? But at the same time, spirit was letting me know that something was about to drop. Something was about to fall as in a gavel in spiritual court hitting something, something to hit, right? Something that people don't see. Yeah, listen, they came up against you and your divine 
counterpart. I'm being guided to take the emperor by way of the four of wands. Whatever you two are working on, spirit says these people are wanting to block you. Somebody could have tried to hex you. Okay, you could be seeing more flies, weird little bugs, uh, just 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 weird bugs you ain't never seen before. That's all root work. That's all. Somebody did like a sour jar. Somebody did a shit jar. Somebody wanted your life to be poo poo caca stinky. Okay, listen. This is what they don't understand. That stuff don't work on Earth Angels. Somebody could be working with like a Grigri bag or some type of herb. Grigri, by way of New Orleans, is usually by way of voodoo or hoodoo. They give these little Grigri bags that's full of herbs and whatever the hell they put in there for protection, money, beauty. You know, they go to people and, oh, I want this. So they get a little Grigri bag. Somebody had a little Grigri bag with something in it. They could have, you know, put your name in some herbs or something like that. Real weird energy, whatever it is. Listen, you and your masculine have broken out of this self-imposed imprisonment. This is an ascension for me. The Eight of Swords and the Death is the both of you being strong together, no longer going up against each other, right? So one of your neighbors could be getting into some type of conflict tonight, some type of fight. Um, the police could get called, okay, between today and tomorrow. My nose is itching because they wanted you two to fight. They wanted to irritate your house, okay? You could be playing music. You could just be in a really happy mood under this full moon, manifesting as you should. Needless to say, yeah, listen, seven of cups. A lot of people from the past now want to come out and see what you're doing. Who are you? What are you know? What's going on? Oh, she got somebody new. Oh, he has somebody new. And they're angry. Archangel Michael, what else do we need to see here? Show me what it is that I'm feeling about this situation, please. And thank you. Yep. Listen, whatever y'all got going on is being protected. The Ace of Wands to me, you see this big glowing light. Okay, whatever your gift is, it's so bright that your enemy cannot see it because they're in this darkness. So the light is irritating their demons. They're running. They're holding their head down. They're going to and fro. The light is too bright. So it's almost like spirit is protecting your, your gift. Whatever this is that's coming in by way of a miracle, by way of you and spirit, Whatever you two are manifesting, spirit is hiding it. It's cloaked. Thank you, spirit. And this is this is like divinely being cloaked by the most high. So people are like going to different readers. Somebody went to three readers in one day. Lord, have mercy. This person is frantic. When I say frantic, I mean frantic. Two of pentacles. You're definitely seeing two, two, two. This is about balance. This is a twin flame dynamic all day long, all day, all day, every day. Okay. Two, 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 two plus two is four, four of wands. The synchronicity is eight, four, five. Listen, it's deep. Even now, two, three, four, five. Spirit is saying that things are getting in divine order. These people wanted to disrupt the order. Thank you, spirit. They wanted to disturb the divine order is what they wanted to do. Somebody went to at least three readers in one day to see what you have coming in. Each reader has been guided by spirit. Okay, so basically what that means is that say they go in to get a reading. The reader could be like, okay, it's $21, right? They go in, they get a reading. They're like, okay, I want to know what this person has coming. Somebody even went in as you, whoever you are, divine feminine. Somebody went in and used your name and the spirits caught on. Spirit is like, what the hell do you think this is? Don't you know that Gabriel's blowing the horn and the war angels are coming down? Do you understand what this is? These people are lost. When I say like a dog chasing its tail in a circle, this is what I'm getting. And I'm not kidding. The Nine of Swords is somebody that is literally like at the edge, 
at the edge. They're very edgy. They're very paranoid. They're very much in their head. This person could be drinking excessively, okay? Um, a Virgo could be significant. Yep. Two of Swords. This number two is very significant. Two represents balance. Two represents Maya. Two represents judgment. Balance. The scales have to be balanced. And Gabriel is blowing that horn. Lord have mercy. Something about Ogun, something about your ancestors, by permission of the Most High. The Most High is calling upon the gods. I cannot make this shit up, y'all. Did I not just show you this at the bottom of the deck? Did you not just see me shuffle the deck? As long as I've been doing this, it still, again, shocks me when spirit just comes through for us to give us confirmation. Listen, depression, anxiety, suicide, sadness, pain, physical pain, mental pain, going crazy, banging their head on the wall, losing their mind, the drink is not working, the smoke is not working. Let me tell you something. I was reading in Revelations earlier today where it talked about in the time of uh, catastrophe that is written, that's prophesied, that people will be gnashing their teeth begging to die and the most high will command the death angels to leave them Woo! this is the this is the travesty of it all somebody's begging begging please please gonna they just don't want this energy to come back but where's it gonna go baby it's not gonna land on these two people these people are destined Okay, you two are already married in the 5D. You had your exes coming up against the relationship. You had her exes coming up against the relationship. You had her uh, karmic family that she walked away from trying to attack you, kill her, and vice versa. Some this masculine, divine masculine got a sister, a cousin, a brother. A blah, 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 blah. Listen, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's go, it's, it's 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 deep. It's deeper than what it appears, definitely by way of these cards. The Nine of Swords is anxiety. Listen, somebody did it under the moon. I cannot make it up. Cancerian energy. Somebody took they stupid ass. That's all I can say. Your ass is grass. <laughs> I got to laugh to keep from crying because one thing that I refuse to do, even by way of your ultimate timely demise whoever you are one thing that myself and the divine collective are going to do is curb our enthusiasm because of your death and your destruction that has nothing to do with us we're going through a beautiful transformation manifesting under the moon listen who i just heard life is getting sweet three of pentacles somebody could have collaborated three people it was like i'm seeing groups of three Three neighbors, three family members, three people in a distance, three, three, three. Okay, well, that also means ascended masters because you know they're definitely intervening on our behalf. Somebody was celebrating, y'all. Somebody was celebrating your demise. Somebody was smiling, taking pictures. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on. Oh, she gonna die this time or he's gonna die this time. I mean, it is just disgusting. I don't really know what else to say, but listen. Three, 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 people working in groups, somebody working with dolls, somebody working with some type of, um, what is that herb called? An, an, an anise, A-N-A-I, I might be saying it in the Spanish way, anise or something like that, the star of anise or something, it's like a little star, somebody was working with that, somebody was working with something that makes the skin itch, some type of itching herb, whatever it was, somebody tried to attach something to you. Okay, it didn't work. It's not working. Yep, these people are weighed down. They don't even know what the hell to do. I just heard the last supper. Somebody could be feeling like this could be their last go round. And they're right. Show me what else I need to see, Holy Spirit. Whatever your gift is, the Most High is covering it. These people, when they went to these readers, are not able to see. Now, these readers, I was going to say before I got off on a tangent, these readers are being guided by spirit 
to not assist these people. So these people could be giving them um, confusing readings or spirit is just guiding them to people that are just taking their money and they're not genuine and they're not real. Hold on, my stomach is itching. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, commercial break. Listen, okay. Spirit could be guiding these people just in some type of confusion. Yeah, the two of wands, they don't know which way to go. It's like having a choice to go here, go there. These people are all over the place. The nine of wands is like, it's crazy because the blessing is still going to happen. Is this making sense? Now there could be somebody that's watching in, in complete and utter confusion. And that's because they're blinded. That's because it says in the scriptures, the Holy Spirit will be your teacher. The Holy Spirit will be your guide to those who can hear what the Spirit is saying, to those that can see what the Spirit is trying to show them, right? It's the hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil type of an energy, okay? Two of Wands represents somebody just at a crossroads not knowing which way to go. And these people are being, yeah, I can't make it up temperance angel okay again this for me in this particular spread by way of this spiritual energy represents the archangels on an assignment being commanded to do something okay whatever this deity is whatever that energy is that 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 spirit so, oh excuse me somebody can't control it and here's the thing the the practitioner somebody's practitioner is just not answering the phone they know that this deity is going to take these people out these people are really fools this doesn't represent taking a leap of faith this is like falling from grace this is foolish energy a fool and his spirit are soon to be separated and parted i'm surprised the world card hasn't come up three of wands the three represents somebody being in the middle of this two, two, two energy. The meat between two slices of bread. It was a rotten piece of meat. I cannot make it up. Did I not just say that the world card was going to come out? Did Gabriel? Okay, I'm sorry. I still love the way spirit confirms. I just do. I really do. Because we need these confirmations as we embark on this journey. This next level, I just heard untouchable. You're already untouchable, right? Somebody doesn't like how smart you are. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're intuitive, that you know when to cleanse, that you know when somebody's coming past you. They don't like that. They don't like the fact that you can see them passing your house when you're sleeping. <laughs> Judgment. Are we surprised? No, we're not. Judgment, it's a harsh judgment. <sighs> the world represents the end of a cycle. Listen, the world and death and judgment are self-explanatory. Ten of swords, this could have been family members. I'm getting family members. This is another completely down low. Somebody is really, really pissed off. Somebody went to three practitioners, got three different readings, and is still very much confused. They went to three people who could not see your life, your destiny, nothing, nothing. They could have said, well, I don't know. Maybe she's here. Maybe she's there. Maybe he's over here. Maybe, whatever it was, it sent this person on some type of tangent. This person could have been driving around all day. They could be trying to go get reversible candles. They're going to get black candles. They're going to get white candles. Somebody's trying to get in touch with the blue head. He is. She's not answering the phone. These people are marked. They're cursed. King of Cups, you're coming up as somebody caring and loving. They did this to divinely collective. This is who you are as the collective divine. Collective. Did I say that right? Divinely collective. Divinely collected. Wow, I like that too. Listen, this is who you're coming up as. As a group, as a family, as a soul tribe. These are ultimate betrayals. These are people that didn't have to do this to you. Okay? So for you... This means that everything is fine. For them, it just means that the betrayals are coming back in little bitty ways that are leading them down these roads of confusion. Why do I say that? Because look, somebody went and got three readings. 
from three different readers and didn't get any answers. That's judgment. The person's in a state of confusion. They don't know. They don't know what the hell is going on. They don't know what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm going to tell you something. Virgo energy. Shout out to my high vibrational collective, Virgo sisters and brothers. I love you. But you got a raggedy ass Virgo out here that's unhealed. This person's about to be going through poverty. This person's in your family. Your karmic family. The one you left in the five of pentacles. <laughs> that one. Not your soul tribe. Okay, the soul tribe members are the beautiful Virgos that send me those beautiful messages. I love you. But somebody out here is raggedy. Somebody needs to come and get their karmic, busted, broke, karmic ass Virgo sister. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. This is a very specific download. This is somebody that you left out in the cold because spirit was guiding you to. This person is very codependent. Very needy, Okay. Ten of Cups, yeah, this was a family member. Okay, this represents family for me. But at the same time, this person is angry because you found your soul tribe. You found new sisters. You found new brothers. You just, like, what was I supposed to do? Sit in this nine of swords with you? Somebody's birthday is in September. Whoever the sister is, September 3rd, September 9th, September 10th, September 8th, September 5th, whatever it is, she's unhealed. Okay, yeah, she can't take back what she did. She keeps thinking about the past. Six of Cups is somebody having nostalgia, thinking about childhood, having flashbacks, having memories. And now all she's doing is spiritually spying, but she's being stripped of her gifts. I don't know why these people, I don't get it. I know why they do it, because they're trying to slow down the judgment, slow down the order. Yeah, this person is pissed that you found your true divine twin flame everybody does not get to be with their twin in life okay it's not an easy journey some of us have different level soulmates uh multiple twin flames uh i mean it's it's a very interesting dynamic when it comes to the larger scheme of things by way of divinity based on what the most high wants to be manifested. This is what people don't understand. So when they go about doing these little chaos spells and breakup spells and I want them to fight and break up and I want this person to be homeless, out in the cold, whatever they're wishing, death, whatever they're wishing, right? They don't understand the larger scheme of things is that the most high says, I make the judgment. I am the great I am. I'm the alpha and the omega. So the fact that you're now trying to play God in this person's life, you're trying to, trying to be the most high. You thought it not robbery to be equal with the most high, the creator of all things. So listen, this person could have thought that maybe you were in a relationship prior and they broke you up with somebody. Guess what? Plot twist. That was not your twin. That was a fake ass, karmic ass somebody that you needed a karmic lesson for but now you're with your twin and both of you got three 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 ascended masters everything i'm just getting three 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 energy ascended masters two ascended masters two twin flames two ascended masters who descended came down and was like let me live out this last little life come help these people come by way of my destiny do what it is that i'm supposed to do and i'm out and i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna sit with my father the creator of all things i'm getting three 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 both of you have your third eyes open both of you are awakened whoever this person is they're sneaky and deceptive they don't like the fact that they can't tap into your energy anymore this person builds their energy up all day and then they just try to go at you like projection, okay? This is how this person is feeling too. Depressed, sad, drinking, the alcohol's not working. This is what it says in the scriptures though. When you decide to be disobedient to the Most High, the Most High says, okay, so you want to blaspheme me, right? The creator of all things. I'm going to give you a mind that can't find me. You know what that means? There's an insatiable desire to stop death. There's an insatiable desire to stop the pain. There's this insatiable desire to stop 
this depression. But the drink is not working anymore. The smoke is not working anymore. The music is not working anymore. The shape shifting is not shifting anymore. Something is at, on its last leg. Okay, Archangel Michael, show me what else I need to see, please. And thank you, just so I can get out of this energy. Yeah, I cannot make it up, y'all. Listen, this was so funny about spirit. Spirit, you're funny. Okay, I just want to say that my spirit guides had to have been funny. When I decided to come back down here to earth, God was like, okay, just give her some funny ass spirit guides so she can make it through her path. Because if I couldn't laugh to keep from crying, I'd be like, mm -mm, I'm not going, God. <laughs> I don't want to go. Give me, my spirit guides are funny. Why are they funny? Look, I just said somebody's spying and I said, I'm being guided to pull from my red deck. In my mind, I said, I'm being guided. The page of swords, the page of swords. Somebody is losing their shit. Somebody is spying, watching you be happy, watching somebody truly love you, watching people love you, watching you be with your soul tribe, your real sisters, your real people who have your back. They don't like it. The Page of Swords is clarifying the Page of Swords at the bottom of this deck. Is that ironic? Probably not. Listen, why? Because you left their asses out in the cold as being guided by spirit. And you're not coming back. And somebody is coming to that realization that you're not coming back. Oh, really? When did you realize that? Was that the first, second, or the thousandth time? Or was it the umpteenth time that you tried to kill me? energetically okay spirit says what i'm saying is the truth and this concludes your message listen i love you wherever you're at on the planet hey <laughs> oh the ten of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck i'm being guided to take it and my yacht is still spinning the block i'm being guided to take it why? Because you're chosen under the age of Aquarius. You saw me shuffle the cards. You saw me call on the most high God. I like the day. Somebody is pissed off because now everything they've done in the past, seven of pentacles, all of their investments, be it good, bad, or indifferent, are now being examined in spiritual court. This right here alone, I'm going to get out of the message because you know I love y'all so much. I can stay here and talk to you all day. But listen, I have to marinate my chicken for tomorrow. Listen. Justice, the star, the ten of pentacles is still coming to you and your divine mate. Now, if you were wondering, why would they continue to do this? Because they don't want you to get to this level. They know that once you get to this level, it's a wrap. There's no going back. Hence, the Eight of Cups is you chunking up the mother freaking deuces. Okay, that's all I want to say. I got to go. I love you. I hope you love me back. If you're a first timer, listen, I hope you come back. If you don't, hey, maybe this was our time together. Thanks for stopping by. Needless to say, I always come in peace. And I will leave you until the next video. As always, peace be with you.